I think that the responsibility of rock stars or of any kind of uh, important figure is a very uh, serious one for that person to recognize if he's going to operate within the public eye. These people serve as, as models and they, they are frequently influence the way in which people um, will behave. When Marilyn Monroe killed herself, there was a, a tremendous jump in the number of suicides that occurred within the two weeks to four weeks after her death. I think it has a big impact on the people who listen to it, and I think they should have res enough responsibility with the fame and, that they have to watch what they do and watch what they say and think about who it affects. Artists should have a large range of things that he can talk about. It's just a narrow field that he can't talk about. And one of those narrow fields is suggesting suicide. When the threat is public disorder or death from saying something, you have no right to do that. You have no right to endanger somebody else's life. Whether rock stars want to accept this or not, it is my belief that they have a responsibility to the youngsters who do indeed worship them. This responsibility extends to setting down some examples for them to follow and taking responsibility for the messages they convey to the youngsters. The heroes and heroines of our society have always had some impact on our images and on what we plan to do with our lives. And I know when I myself am looking into the background of how people make key decisions for their lives, I ask them who they admired when they were young. I ask them what movies they watched. I asked them what experiences they had in reading, and almost invariably, the experiences that they describe are a close match to the way they've chosen to live their lives. I believe the same kinds of issues are true today for teenagers, that they, in fact, will match with the heroes of their day, which I believe at this point are rock stars. And if we allow certain kinds of rock images that are really destructive to a teenager's life to be a part of their primary imagery, then decisions are made about ongoing lifestyle that are really destructive. The repetition in, for example, hard rock music that advocates suicide. Now, not all hard rock music does advocate suicide, but that which does, uh, it is a conditioned response. If a person hears that over and over, it has become such a part of him, he is conditioned to thinking suicide is really not bad. Suicide is romantic. It's floating away on the, the great white cloud. It's, uh, it's the laying down of our troubles here and not, not being bothered with them anymore, just floating away into uh, some sort of utopia. And that's not the case at all. That's not suicide as I see suicide, and I see it in its reality. I see raw death.